Hi, I'm Nathan. I'm an engineer with National Instruments and I'm going to be talking about our optical sensor interrogator today. So optical sensing is really useful because you can have multiple sensors on a single line. Here you can actually see, um, probably not from there, but there is a small fiber optic line here which has 16 sensors on it. Um, and this requires only one line. Normally that would require 32 wires to do that any other way. So to get a general overview, let's go ahead and turn our heat lamp on and put it right up on one of these sensors. And we can see on the 3D model our heat going on. We can also put it to a different part and watch as the plane heats up. Now a lot of people ask how this actually works, so let's go into it now. So we have this general optical spectrum here. So here we can see the peak reflections of our 16 sensors. So these are all the reflections that it sends back. So how the optical interrogator actually works is it will send down a laser ranging from 1510 to 1590 nanometers and the sensors reflect back a specific wavelength. Now each sensor is finely tuned to have its own wavelength and what it's going to do is if I zoom in here really quick and then shine the light on that particular sensor, we can see the wavelength peak change and that change in peak wavelength corresponds to a change in degrees Celsius, which is how we actually measure the temperature. And you'll see here if we go to the temperature plot that it corresponds to an actual change in temperature over here. So if we do it one more time, we can see that temperature